everybody and thanks for stopping by for another Waylight project video. Today I want to show you how I made this quick, easy, and simple coffee mug holder. So stick around. Okay, so I started out this project with a scrap piece of 2x10 pine and set my table saw rip fence to 2.5 inches and then ripped down two pieces out of that 2x10 that I'll use for the runners or the boards that run up and down that hold the pegs for the coffee mugs. And then I ripped down three pieces that were one inch or you can do one and a half inch. It really is up to you how you want to do it. The length of each of the runners doesn't really matter. Um, it just kind of depends I guess on what scrap you have laying around or how you want to make it. Uh, then I cut the one, I cut one of the uh, one inch width pieces into three separate eight inch pieces. <clears throat> and then I laid those out um, and started to get an idea of how I wanted the runners to sit on each one of those braces in the back. Of course I want to stagger them just to give them a little bit of a better aesthetic look. Um, I thought it looked a little neater that way I guess. I then took the remaining pieces that I had of that one inch width material and <coughs> cut it into eight three inch pieces that I'll use for the hooks or the pegs that will be on the uh, vertical runners. And then laid them out just to get an idea of what they'd look like. This is actually pretty close to the, the spacing I'll use in the final bit. And then I took one of the pegs and laid it on a piece of quarter inch plywood, um, traced it out so I could then freehand on the hook design. And the reason for this is to make a blank that I can lay on top of each one of the pegs so the hook is consistent, or at least close to consistent. And it'll give me a rough idea of where I need it cut, that way I can hone it in on the final sanding. And then just take that blank out of the plywood and lay it on, or take the template out of the piece of plywood and lay it on each blank and trace it out so I can get that hook thing penciled on there. And then after I get done with each one of those, um, take it to the bandsaw and cut it out. Then I took a step back and went back to the two runners and evenly spaced out um, top to bottom four lines for each one of the pegs and then uh, measured halfway between the two or between each side and made a center line and then threw that on with a level that I had laying around. Then I took my drill and I'll just drill a hole where each one of those lines intersects and this will be where each peg or hook um, will be attached with both glue and um, screw. Now I want to spend some time getting the hooks or the pegs into the shape that I wanted them. I used this rib sander or strip sander to um, shape it the best I could, uh, just kind of rounding over the edges and getting a little bit of that rough cut where I took it onto the bandsaw just to get it smoothed out and then I'll adjust that more uh, with my rotary tool. And here I'm just um, kind of easing over that curve a little bit more, make it a little bit more rounded. I think I'm pretty happy with those, considering it's the final design I went with. And I took my drill and drilled in a little ways. I didn't really set a depth, just went in long enough that I thought the screw wouldn't split the wood once it got in. Then applied a little wood glue, 
<clears throat> and we're going to screw through with just a little bit of the tip sticking out so I had a place to start threading it in and then I got it where I wanted it and took the impact and drove it in to finalize it. took the three braces that I had cut out earlier and marked lines on them where I knew I could screw in safely without them coming through the front of the runners and then put some holes in each one and then drove screws through the back so they would be hidden from the front and did that on all three of the cross braces. I lined each one up somewhat with the, with the two lines on each end that I had made previously for the screws and then just kind of eyeballed the center one. After that was all on and the glue had dried, I took some, I think it was golden pecan um, stain and added that onto the front and then I'll also add that onto the parts of the back where you would be able to see it run through the front. After I had wiped it all down, got the excess um, stain wiped off, I let it sit and dry overnight and then came back out the next day and added uh, just a, just one coat of uh, quick drying lacquer. Then I took it in later that night and hung it up on the wall. I didn't take the time really to level or anything, I just kind of eyeballed it um, between the fridge and the cabinet that I have over there and was pretty happy with where it was sitting, so I added some coffee mugs to it. It's a really simple design. There's really anything you could do with it. As far as the runners, the bracing, you could design the hooks however you want, so I just hope this is a general idea to get you started in a design you could make, um, which you could get out in the shop and make your own. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, and you want to see more, please subscribe. Um, like the video, follow us on Facebook or Twitter. Um, we'd love to hear from you, and we'd love to share you with your creative process. So until next time, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.